How is it going guys? Drew Peacock here back with another video. A little update on the Mustang. I took it into a new shop on Thursday and well it sounds like stuff is finally finally going as planned. We actually gained some power. We're still at 14 or 15 PSI. We're still on the same pulley. I took off the 24 PSI pulley because that was just way too much boost. If you guys watched the videos on it, way too much boost but on 14 or 15 PSI on this pulley we're actually starting to make some decent power finally we're actually gaining some numbers so i'll make a video on that when i get the car back on monday anyway today we're gonna be taking a look at some races yeah i know i don't think we've ever done this weirdly enough not just like actual races so i i came across this page on instagram jdm overnight uh yeah and they actually have a lot of races and it's actually really fun to watch them so go ahead and go ahead and if you want to go follow them check out some more races go ahead um, but yeah, we're going to take a look at a few right here, and uh, I want you guys to bet for each race who you think is going to win. So let's just dive right in with the first one. First race is a built Evo. So you can read the mods here. I'm not going to list every mod for every car, but pretty much built, cammed, GT35R Turbo, and it's on E85. And then we have a full bolt-on tuned E85 CTSV. So go ahead, place your bets in the comments below. Ready? That right there is one fast ass Evo. Now, obviously, I've seen this race before. I had a hand selected, but I honestly thought the CTSV was going to get him or it was going to be a lot closer than it was. I mean, the Evo pulled away nice and steady. Just a steady, nice pull. He got about a car on the guy, um, which is, again, is, uh, that's impressive. I mean, those Evos, they're not the most reliable car. They're a lot more reliable than the older ones, but you need to put a lot of money to make it like that. You need to build some shit. And, uh, well, I mean, that was just, that was impressive right there. Nothing I can say about that. I mean, all-wheel drive, just crazy traction. I mean, that right there, man, that's a race. I've actually raced a CTSV on E85, and I mean, he just left me in the dust. I mean, it was like no competition. I mean, well, it was cammed E85. It, it had some other stuff, but it was fast, okay? And so, I mean, I, I can assume that this one is, is fast, and it looks like traction is good for both cars, but damn, that's a mean-ass Evo. All right, let's move on to the next race. Here we go, next race. Place your bets. 2018 Mustang GT with 10-speed auto. That is no joke right there. The 10-speed autos in the new Mustangs are crazy fast uh it's full bolt-on plus tune and then we got versus we have a honda civic with a craft word supercharger eighth gen si 396 wheel horsepower which sounds a bit low but when you think about it the wheel horsepower on a mustang like this with full bolt-on and tune is probably 460 maybe if that 450 460 i believe the new ones come factory with like 460 horsepower so Full bolt-on and a tune. You're probably sitting around that on the wheels. And uh, I don't know. Big weight difference. Go ahead and place your bets. Watch it! Now, the audio isn't the greatest. It seems like he recorded it with like a Nintendo DS. Maybe the 3DS. I'll give him some props because the image is, is pretty good. But the audio is ass. It wasn't that long of a race, but the Civic held its ground. It held a solid half car lead up on the Mustang, which again, on a little old Civic like that, that's pretty impressive. You're beating a brand new, brand new Mustang. That's pretty Im That's pretty impressive, man. You're, you're embarrassing the Mustang right there, man. That is all what I'm about, man. I'm all for cars like this. I'm all for cars that can just really hold their own. That's kind of why I don't want to sell my Mustang. I mean, I might eventually in the future, but I really like embarrassing new cars. It, it's fun. It's satisfying to, you know, beat a newer car. Some guy goes and buys some power, and then you build your car and make some power. And again, it wasn't that long of a race, but props to the Civic. Again, it was a close race, but Civic came out on top. Next race, Catback and it's untuned Honda Civic. Okay, maybe not that much power. Versus a V6 Catback and untuned Camaro. I'm betting, I haven't seen this race, I'm betting Civic. Which sounds weird. I know you guys are like, Drew Peacock, you hate Civics. No, I don't hate Civics. I hate Ricers. I don't like Ricers, okay? I mean, you can do whatever you want to your car, but I think it's stupid. I'm all for race cars. Now, this guy does just have a Catback and it's not tuned, but he's got some aftermarket wheels, it looks like. But anyway... I'm betting 
Civic. I love daylight races, man. I love them. The, the quality is just so much better. You can actually see what's going on. And I love in this first race, the Civic kept on looking over his shoulder like, is this guy is this guy racing or not? Is this guy, is he still there? Is he racing or not? And uh, yeah, he was racing. He tried to keep up and he couldn't do it. The Honda Civic came out on top in the first race. In the second race, though, it seems like, I don't know, maybe this, I don't know, maybe he's got some secret nitrous or something because he was pulling away. But what I will say is if you notice towards the end, and also he is on the inside lane on a turn, but towards the end, little Civic here did start to creep up on him and I think if they would have kept going I think the Civic's top end would have would have got it now those Camaros are heavy those Camaros are slow and they're shaped like a brick okay the Civic probably has a little bit of a better aerodynamic than uh, than the, the Camaro but yeah I don't know personally I think the Civic came out on top but let me know what you guys think who won that one Civic or Camaro my reason being is that in the first race the Civic beat him by a lot the second race Camaro barely won. He won by like a car. So I don't know. I think the Civic won overall. Here we go. More Civics. I don't know why. There's, well, I guess it is a JDM page, but more Civics. Here we go. Intake, catback, exhaust, stock header, Flash Pro base map versus an older Civic. We get the EK Coupe with JDM GSR swap and an ITR trans full bolt on tuned on S300. Place your bets down below Civic versus Civic, new or old, which one is going to win? Well, if you ask me, the newer of the two Civics lost in just about everything. He lost from the dig. Uh, this camera guy lost. He looks the, he's the stupidest one here because he has flash on for some reason during the day. Uh, yeah, it's not going to work, buddy. Sorry. But now I'm not huge into Civics or anything like that. But one thing I do know is usually if you're still on stock wheels and stock tires, you, you couldn't have added that much power. Uh, if you really were adding a, a serious amount of power, you're going to have to upgrade those wheels. And I'm sure if this guy got lighter wheels, because I guarantee those things are boat anchors. If he got lighter wheels, I think he'd see a big improvement. All right, here we go. Next race. We got a Mazda 3 here, which we actually don't see too much of these anymore. Go ahead. If you want to read these mods, go ahead. Versus an S550 Mustang. Place your bets down in the comments down below. Let's take a look. I'll tell you what, these are my favorite types of races, man. You can ask my buddy Eric, him and his Porsche GT3, man. These are my favorite types. The ones where you're neck and neck for most of it, just creeping back and forth, just seeing who has the biggest balls to stay in the longest. Now, this is a 40 to 140 race. It's 100 miles an hour right there, guys. I mean, that is no joke. And just neck and neck the whole time. I mean, you could hear the Mustang. He must have gone into fifth or something because you can hear the difference in the exhaust pitch. I mean, it completely just, you know, 
it feels like the car falls on its face. Uh, it's just how these, these six speeds are nowadays. But uh, yeah, for sure, a really good race, man. Uh, again, favorite, favorite type of race right here. Favorite type, most fun. It's way, this is way more fun than just gapping someone or getting gapped. This is way more fun. Next race, Dodge Charger RT, unknown mods, unknown owner versus an 8th Gen SI Catback Exhaust plus Untuned. So this is one thing I will say. Both of these cars seem incredibly slow. They didn't look like they passed over 100 in both races. I could be wrong on the first race, but it looked like the second race they got to 90. And I mean, that was a pretty long race. Here we go. Let's see. Yeah, he stopped at 94. I mean, that's that's a long time to get to 94. And he got the jump. The Charger just reeled him in. Uh, I, think, I think the Charger just clearly won this one. No doubt. No doubt in my mind, actually. Clearly won. Uh, Honda Civic got the jump both times. And the Charger just reeled him in both times. L listen to that. Listen to that. Watch the Charger. Here it comes. Starts to gain momentum. Big ass boat starts going down the highway. It's starting to paddle across the water. And, you know, there he goes. Let off. He was obviously about to win. And uh, racing in traffic like that, very dangerous. Don't recommend it at all. Guys, there's always a place and a time. I don't recommend dangerous activities. Now, obviously, this is filmed in Mexico, as we all know. So, you know, it's outside of the United States. Can't do anything about it. Full bolt-on tuned on E30 Honda Civic Type R versus a 2019 Scat Pack with unknown mods. He says you can hear an exhaust. I don't know. These exhausts already sound pretty loud, but let's take a look. It's honestly really hard to tell. Now, first of all, I thought the camera car was uh, the, the, the Challenger, but it turns out it's a Camaro, and it uh, looks like he lost too. But it's really hard to tell. I can't really tell who won. It looks like the Honda Civic is kind of creeping up, but I'm looking where their light trails are, and I don't know. They look down near neck and neck to me. You guys are going to have to comment down below and let me know. But either way, another really good race, something you don't see every day, a boat versus some rice. I'm joking. It's not rice, but you guys know what I'm saying. Uh, another good race, though. Really close. Um, those, those boats, man, those are heavy as shit, though. I think, I think, I think if this was a full Wilton Mustang, I think it would have took it, but I don't know. I already forgot what the Honda Civic had done to it, but I think if it was a full Wilton Mustang with the 10-speed auto, I think that 10-speed auto would have just kind of crept up a little bit better than the Challenger. Uh, the Challenger is fast, don't get me wrong, it's got some serious horsepower, but it is big, it is heavy, and they shift not as fast as the 10-speed auto inside the new Z01s or the uh, 26, no, my bad, 2018 Mustang GTs, my bad, my bad. Uh, but yeah, either way, a really good race. Honda Civic, I think, you know, he held his ground really good there. If I was that Challenger owner, man, I'd sell my car in an instant. All right, here we go, last race. We have a full-fledged race car right here, okay? Full-fledged Honda Civic race car hatch versus a Camaro. The Camaro got the hit. He looks like he's pretty much bolt-on. Uh, but go ahead, place your bets. I mean, just from the way I was wording it, it kind of sounds obvious who's going to win, but place your bets. Yeah, I mean, it was pretty obvious. I mean, you have a full-fledged race car Honda Civic versus a Bolton 5th Gen Camaro. I mean, those 5th Gens pretty much lose to everything anyways. And then you go and throw a full-fledged Honda Civic race car at it. And I mean, yeah, it was pretty clear what was going to happen. I mean, listen to that, though. 
listen to it just bang off of that red line. Oh, that is so nice, man. I would not mind owning a Honda Civic like that. I wouldn't mind. I'd drive that. Sh I'd drive the shit out of that car, man. Just embarrassing people. Because uh, trust me, it's always the, it's always the fifth gen Camaro owners that love to race too. They love to race. Doesn't matter if they're in the RS or the SS. They will race you no matter what. They're gonna. They, they'll even think they're racing you when they're really not. They're just gonna pass you in traffic and think they're racing you, but you're just kind of cruising, you know, trying to save your MPG. But yeah, that Honda Civic man, it's got some serious balls. Serious balls. Props to the owner. That's a nice build right there. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video and you want, maybe want to see me do some more videos like this, leave a thumbs up. It's really cool looking at race videos. I'd rather personally look at people racing than just look at people, you know, parked with their car. But that's just me. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, like I said, leave a thumbs up so I know. Get some good feedback. Comment down below um, if you were correct with all of the races. If you were, you win a cookie. Uh, I'm not paying for it, though, so you're going to have to find someone to buy you that cookie, but it's not going to be me. Subscribe to join the Peacock Flock. Hit the notification bell to flock to the videos with everyone else. And until next video, peace.